What's going on guys, I'm Devpool and I want to talk to you about desktop setup. So now why is it very important? Well, only one word, productivity. Oh and by the way, if you're first time here, I'm Devpool. My whole purpose is to help beginners and juniors to succeed in the tech industry. So if you're not subscribed yet, consider doing it now because I'll have a lot more helpful material for you. So since a lot of us are working from home, we can't just go to the office, we can't request specific tools that we may like, specific desk that we may want. So we have to take a look at the things that we really, really want, take a look at to what can help us with productivity because right now, if you're to get something, that is something you can't really return it in the next 30 days or whatever the return policy might be. So let me guys uh, walk you through my desk to show you what I currently have, what would I like to improve on, and as well as what helps me to stay productive. So let's do it. And the first thing that I would like to talk about is my monitor right here. Look at it, how beautiful it is. Look at it. Well, that monitor is just a 32 inch uh, display LG. And I, to be honest, really like that uh, brand LG. If I were ever to get a monitor, it will always be from them, no matter what. Well, unless it just doesn't work completely, then well, I'm gonna have to go with someone else. But right now, as you can see, I have only one mounted to my desk right now. And uh, for now, that's enough, but I'll probably definitely be getting another one in the future. Not the exact same one, maybe a bit of more improved one, more like uh, with 4K resolution. Uh, but for now, this will do it. And the one thing to point out about this monitor, the downside of it, is that once you'll get it, with the type of a stand it comes with, Unfortunately, you cannot just flip it from a horizontal to vertical uh, mode. So if you really like the vertical uh, side of it, then uh, this monitor may not work so well for you. So you might as well take a look at what else is out there. Now, you have probably noticed that I have a mechanical keyboard uh, right here. And uh, this one is a Razer. Uh, I believe it's a Black Widow X uh, Ultra. And uh, I really like it when it comes to programming, to working, or just productivity in general. The one downside of it though is it's loud. So if you're having a meeting, if you're in a type of a place where it's not just you in the room, there's somebody else and you have to be very, very quiet. Well, unfortunately, that's the only downside of it. But for the rest, that is definitely something I will recommend to get it if you're programming every day, if you're sitting and just typing every day. But uh, if you don't like the sound, then uh, good luck. So now let's talk about this mouse right now. The one I have is a still a series Rival 3 and uh, it's very, very minimalistic, which means that there are only two buttons on the side right here. You can program them to do whatever you want. In my case is I like to go back to a previous page that I was before instead of just navigating with my mouse. I find that a lot, lot more helpful. And then there's also a button right here up top that it can do whatever you want it to do. And uh, on the wheel, uh, same deal. If you just uh, click on it uh, to the right, you can move the page up or down. Uh, it's really up to you. So in my case, for example, my keyboard and the mouse, they are not wireless. And I kind of like that because they're just always connected to my computer, always charging, always have uh, the power. So I don't have to worry about the battery. Now, the next thing is the mouse pad. Now, the type of a mouse pad I have is a little bit fancy, it's quite long, and as you can see, it has LEDs that you can pretty much control into different colors, to different things. Uh, but you don't really need to get that, by the way, this is just something that is kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. But whenever you work, uh, that could be distracting to some people, so it could reduce a little bit of your productivity when you're working on something. So what I do is, if it's distracting me or something, I just turn it off. It's very, very simple. And then uh, just go about my business. And uh, as you have noticed, by the way, I don't really have too many things uh, on my desk, to be honest. I have a, a lamp, I have a little box that just contains very, very tiny things I usually keep on my desk. I have uh, fake plants that I just got from Ikea, to be honest. Uh, my router, water bottle, and that's pretty much it. Now, this little guy is a laptop, you're correct. And uh, it's not mine, it's from work. Uh, I keep it on my desk because, well, I gotta work, right? So, but this is not something that does come with my desk. However, as you can see, the type of desk I have, it allows me, it has enough space for me to have my own personal setup over here and have a little bit of space right here for my work. And uh, of course, I can take my HDMI cable, connect it to the Mac, and then I'll have uh, two screens working beautifully. So speaking of the desk, you have noticed that this one is very, very uh, simple one, very, very standard. It's not a standing desk, by the way. I've tried standing desks, 
uh, at work and to be honest after like 5-10 minutes I just want to go back to sitting so I figured if I do want to stand I'm just going to be uh, standing up from my desk every hour to take a walk just to take a break a small break 5-10 to 10 minute break and that's pretty much it and, I and that is much much more productive and much much more healthier to me and also those standing desks they cost like five six hundred dollars minimum and the, the size of them they're not very big so to me personally i don't see it too big of a value now there's one more thing left to point out that is very very important about this setup but before i do that i have made this video before where i was comparing mac versus windows and uh, i was talking a little bit about one versus the other which one i will be going with personally which one i'll be building it well Get ready guys, the machine is here. And that is this guy over here. Ta-da! It's a PC. A very, very regular computer. It's not a Mac. Well, it's not regular. And in my case, the reason why I got the PC. Well, first I was taking a look at my use cases. What exactly am I gonna be using it for? My main case was programming. Second one was video editing. And then gaming, even though I don't really game to be honest. But those were my use cases and when i was building out the computer itself i was looking at each of those parts separately uh, the motherboard uh, the cpu the gpu the memory etc 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 so the type of improvements i'm uh, looking at right now or talk about right now is well number one is to get a new monitor or more like a, a second monitor because i'm being productive right now using one monitor but if you have a second one it's just work gets much much easier for you whenever you're working on something especially when you have multiple applications running and you do want to see things side by side so you don't have to keep on switching from one screen to another or from one application to another and uh, that will be the first thing i'll probably do and then next thing i'll probably improve on is probably the desk itself now you might be thinking but why didn't you just say it's a good uh, desk well it is however on the back of it it has this little wall that unfortunately doesn't allow me to mount my monitor. So right now, uh, what you guys don't see, uh, let me just move my things out of the way. So now you can see it's been mounted to my desk by me drilling a hole. So if I were to like get a second monitor, then that means I'll have to drill another hole. I don't want to do that. So that's why I'll be getting a different type of a desk that uh, on the back doesn't have the specific wall so then I can just uh, mount it right on the back. And uh, those are the only two things that uh, I would like to improve on. But to be honest, if I were to ask a question, is that necessary? Well, getting a desk is just cool, it's new. Getting a second monitor will increase my productivity maybe by 5-10%. to 10%. Uh, It's quite a lot, to be honest, on the uh, long run. But uh, it's not as important right now because I'm still managing, it's still quite uh, easy. Well, I personally, I find it quite easy. So I'm not in too big of a hurry to improve that setup right now. But it's definitely something I'll be doing this year. So if you're looking into uh, building your desk setup right now or optimizing it, I'll suggest taking a look at what is it you want. Taking a look at your budget as well. For instance, do you need to get the mouse pad that has LED lights? Mm, you might not need to because it doesn't really help with your productivity. It doesn't help you to write your code. It's just cool. It looks good, you know? It's for any occasion. This is a party type. No, the party was the previous one where I just kept on going like this. No, this is a slow party right now. Next one is a little bit chillax type of a party. So that's the type of lights. They're not improving my productivity at all. Instead, if I have a party, well, there are my lights right there. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. This is my uh, desktop uh, setup. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. I'm Devpool, and I'll see you later.